What's going on guys? Welcome to the Keto Connect Kitchen. Today we have a very exciting recipe for you. We are gonna be making breakfast sandwiches, Matt's personal favorite food, two different ways. The first way is gonna be using these keto toaster waffles that are made by Birch Benders. And shout out to them, they are sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. So they have two different flavors. They have their chocolate chip and then they have their plain. So right here we have a stack of some plain toaster waffles that we are gonna be using to make the sandwiches. The second way we're gonna show you how to make a very simple protein waffle in our mini waffle iron and then we'll make sandwiches using that. So whether you have these or you need to make them at home, we got you covered. So first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna get some bacon frying up in our pan. So we're gonna heat our skillet to medium high heat for this bacon and we're gonna get a good amount of pieces in. So we got our bacon cooking down and I do wanna note that I didn't realize how much I missed toaster waffles until Birch Benders came out with them. They are the first to come out with these. They also have their pancake mix and waffle mix that we use pretty much every weekend. The ingredients are super clean and they're really tasty. So while the bacon's going, we're gonna get our protein waffles going. In this measuring cup, I have a tablespoon and a half of butter that I'm gonna melt down. So as you're doing this, you wanna keep an eye on your bacon. I did flip it so that we can crisp it on both sides. And my butter here is melted down. So to this, I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. That's gonna help it rise. A scoop of protein powder. Any protein powder you have on hand will work. And one large egg. So we're gonna give this a whisk and it'll probably be a little too thick, so we'll add some water to it, but you can add some cream or some uh, nut milk, whatever you have on hand. So yeah, it's a little on the thick side, so we're gonna add a little bit of water at a time. You don't want it too thin. So we've got our bacon off and it's looking nice and crispy. So we're gonna make our eggs right now while the skillet is hot. And a nice little trick is if you have some rings from a mason jar, they will be perfect size. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is place your rings in your hot skillet and an important step you don't wanna forget is to spray them with any sort of spray because they will stick to the egg. And we're just gonna crack our egg in there. You can even do this with like bell peppers. It's a really fun trick to like, you know, impress your family and friends. We're gonna do a nice salt and pepper on these. We're gonna let those cook through before we flip them. Okay, I guess we can take the ring out. Perfect shape. And we have some shredded cheese here. I'm gonna top these eggs with so it'll melt down. And then you can just cover with a pan so that the cheese melts. Okay, that looks beautiful. So we're just gonna pop these eggs off and set them on a plate for them to cool a little before we assemble. Okay, now we're gonna make our protein waffles with our mini waffle iron, and this is the consistency I like right here. It's not too thick, but not too thin. That'll make a nice solid waffle. So, we have this heated, and we're just gonna give it a nice little spray. We're gonna add our mixture. I'm gonna close down. And the trick to using waffle irons is that you'll know it's done once it stops steaming. Oh baby. So that is looking good. So we are going to pop this off, set that aside, and make ourselves another perfect waffle. And there is our second waffle. Clearly I made it a little too big, but that's okay. Check these out. What I love about these birch bender waffles though is that they're super convenient. They're always just in the freezer. You could pop in the microwave or the oven. And Matt loves to eat these, just spread a bunch of ghee on them. These take a little extra effort, but they're super delicious too. All that's left to do now is assemble. I'm gonna pop one of each down. So if you want it, you could spread some butter on these, some mayo, some barbecue sauce, whatever condiment you want. We're gonna keep them simple right now. So I'm just gonna pop on an egg. Oh yeah. Two eggs. Two eggs per? Yeah. We're actually gonna go two eggs. Should I do bacon in the middle? No. Okay, egg number two. Egg number two, wow. And then we're gonna get some bacon going. That's a lot of bacon. Just the right amount. All that's left to do is top. Check that out. Oh my God. 
you can't go wrong. All right, guys, now all that's left to do is to taste test our breakfast sandwich. So again, these waffles, they're low carb, they're no sugar added, grain-free and gluten-free, which I really, really love. So I'd feel comfortable feeding these to my kids, to Theo when he gets a little bit older and he can chew on the waffles. Um, so let's give this a nice bite. The little hint of cinnamon really comes through. And what I love is that the toaster waffles don't get soggy. Like they hold their shape and they're super sturdy. Just the perfect bun for a breakfast sandwich. So if you guys wanna give these a try, you can find them in the frozen section at Whole Foods, Target, and Kroger. So you can't really miss them. Six net carbs for two waffles, which is super filling and a really great snack or meal. So that's it. That's our recipe. Link down below is the ingredients and step-by-step -step how to make these breakfast sandwich, especially these ones that we made at home. You can go either way and it's gonna be super delicious. Thanks for joining us.